Hello and welcome fellow Wasteland survivors. Thanks for stopping in and hanging out with me today. I'm Dean and I know it's been a hella long time since we've had a Fallout 4 tips and tricks video. Last year was kinda... well it was like... Uh, I'm pretty sure you know what it was like. So I decided to do my best to try to help this new year be much brighter. And what better way to do that than with lights? That's right, Wasteoids. In today's video, I'm going to show how we made these really cool oil hanging lamps that we used in our castle build here in Nuka World. Because I used a cycling light inside of the oil lamp, it can really cast some very nice lighting effects. And with today's tips and tricks, you'll be able to build some awesome lighting in your settlement and help light the way for a better and brighter new year. <laughs> started let's take a quick look at some of the objects that we're going to need for today's video first of all the star of our show the oil lamp we've got a candle out an ashtray we've got a couple of power conduits the white one is from a DLC and if you have it it works very well here also we've got a couple of conduit junctions out a couple of concrete pillars there's also a power conduit connected to the bottom of the concrete pillar and one of the posts. We're also going to see in today's video how to use the posts for this application as well. Alright, first thing we'll do is grab one of the concrete pillars, bring it over, and we're going to use it for group select. Now this would be much easier if the candle would set on top of the ashtray, but it won't. So we're going to group select it and then place it into the ashtray where we want it. Now you'll notice it, uh, quite a few of these objects that we use today will have a pretty decent collision area to them. Very generous. And so what we'll do is we'll kind of just move this around a little bit until we get a nice little spot where it looks like it's setting down in it. Alright, now the next thing that we're going to want to do is bring our concrete pillar over, group select our conduit junctions, and bring them up into the air a little bit. What we want to do here is lift this up about shoulder height so that we can see it really well. Next, we want to connect the power up, so we'll do that really quick, and now we have power going in to our con conduit junctions. Now we'll bring our concrete pillar over to the ashtray and candle so that we can group select it. Now I should have done this uh, in a way where you could see this a little better. Sorry about the shadowing right here. But if you bring this over and spend a few minutes to line this up, you can get this to fit inside of those conduit junctions. Now I've done this several times, so I've kind of got it down a little bit, but you can really move this anywhere that you want to on the top and bottom. As you notice, as the ashtray gets up towards the top, it's green. You can put it anywhere up there, and then as the ashtray gets lower on the conduit junction, then it turns green and you can place it in quite a large area right there. I want it down into the junction a little bit so it kind of looks like a bowl setting down into it and that looks pretty good you might want to take a few minutes and it may take a couple of attempts to get this just right all right next thing that we'll want to do is group select it and lift it up into the air uh, as far as we can we may even need to uh, drop the concrete pillar a little bit regroup select it and lift it up a little bit higher. The reason is is because we need to attach our cycling light onto it. And if it's too low it just gets to gets to be too difficult. So the higher up it is the easier it is to get this cycling light on there. Now another thing to notice about the cycling light is there's actually 
a couple of places we can attach this. Look at this spot right here with just the light sticking out the bottom of the stand. That would be so good. That would look awesome on like a door or something like that. Well, where we want to apply the light today is on the bottom of the stand. Now, when you're doing this, keep something in mind. You can still lift this light up and down even after you've placed it on the bottom of this ashtray. So you're going to want to look side to side a couple of different angles to try to get it right in the middle. But also since you can lift it up or down in this area, you'll want to make sure that you can connect the wire to it. Now it will not connect directly up to the conduit junction, so we're going to need to do a wire glitch. And I'll use one of the power conduits down on the ground. Once we go ahead and glitch a wire onto it, we can see that the light bulb turns on. This is excellent for a couple of reasons. One, we know our light is working. Two, we can change the cycling light to the color that we want it to be. In this case, it's the third one, kind of that really cool orangish yellow look. Now we'll group select everything and we'll move it over and get ready to put it into the oil lamp. Now there's a couple of things that make this work here. I should say one major thing, but it becomes into two things later on. First of all, because the light is attached to the, uh, to the bottom of the ashtray, it's not actually group selected with the rest of the items. And this allows us to put it inside of the oil lamp. Now you'll want to take a few minutes and get it just right, but if you don't, that's okay. Because it's just connected to the bottom of the ashtray, you can regroup select it again and move it around until you get it the way you want it to be. Now because this will not group select with the oil lamp, this is going to make it hard to move it around. So what we're going to want to do is get an object that we can put close to the oil lamp and the ashtray. Now pretty much any object will work. Since I've got a few of these wooden posts out, I'm just going to use that to do it. We need it to be close to the ashtray, and then we need it to be close to the lamp. Now when we group select, everything will come with it. And that's how we're going to be able to move it around as we need to. At this point in time, it is ready to go into wherever you'd want to put it. But there's one more thing that we do need to do first. The concrete pillar that we're using, we've been using for group selecting. And we need to put the uh, concrete pillar in that has this uh, power conduit on that. That way we can hide the wire from the conduit junction to the power conduit on the bottom of the concrete pillar. Now even though the wire runs down through everything, because the collision area is so generous, we won't have any problem whatsoever putting this uh, concrete pillar in to the conduit junction. Now it is a little bit high in the air, so I'm going to group select it and drop it down a little farther so I can see this much better. Also, once again, keep in mind, the collision here is very generous. And you can move this up and down four or five, six inches. So you could do a lot here. You could even turn the concrete pillar on a 45 degree angle so the pipe's coming out a corner. I mean, you could really get clever here what you wanted to do. Now, once we've got the concrete pillar positioned where we want it, all you got to do is lift it up out of the ground and put it down where you want it. And I think right there is fine. We'll move the wooden post out of the way so we can get a little better look at it. And yeah, there we go. Looks awesome. Now keep this in mind, ladies and G's. There was a lot of ways that I worked with this while we were trying to design this and build it. I really hope you take the time and try a bunch of different things. You never know when you're going to build something that's unique and that's personally yours. Alright, now for the next style of lamp post, 
these are the items that we're going to need. Instead of the conduit junction, we're going to use this conduit radiator. All right, let's go ahead and bring our wooden post over so we can get it set up. First thing we'll want to do is connect our power up, or one part of it up anyways. We can't fully connect the power up until we get our cycling light up. And we're going to attach that to the bottom of this candle. So we're going to need to lift the candle up as far as we can. Once again, you may have to do a double group select to get it up fairly high. The higher it is, the easier it'll be to put the cycling light on the bottom of it. Now the reason that we're putting it on the candle instead of the radiator is because it will not attach to the radiator believe it or not for some reason no nothing really registers on the radiator but it will register on this candle so we'll place it down and then we'll look at it from side to side and just try to get it the best that we can in the middle of the candle so we'll move it a little bit this way all right I think that looks good. Now let's go ahead and hook our wire up to it. And we'll do that for, to the um, uh, power conduit that we have here on the ground. All right. Now we can go ahead and make sure the light's working and change it to the color that we want it to be. Next, we'll go ahead, group select it, and we'll place it on top of the radiator. So what we might need to do is lift the concrete pillar up a little bit higher. Here I almost didn't get it high enough. We're just barely floating off the top of the uh, conduit radiator right here. If I had to go any lower it just won't go any lower. So make sure you give yourself plenty of room to move your objects up and down. Now we can reposition our concrete pillar that way we can group select the radiator and the candle together. Up out of the ground we go. Now what we'll want to do is try to position this somewhere that we want it to be to the height of the uh, wooden post that you're using. You could be at the top of the post, you could be down in it lower, you could be in the middle. You know, where you want this light is very important. What we're going to do is place the conduit about two inches below the top of the wooden post. Now we could take the concrete pillar, group select the power conduit, and we're going to place it inside of the wooden post. Once again, the collision area of this is hugely generous. You can literally put this conduit anywhere that you want to inside of this post. So now what we're going to do, since our radiator is a couple of inches lower than the top, we'll make sure and place our conduit a few inches from the top of the post. Also, this is a great idea, ladies and gentlemen, to make uh, railings out of wires. Think about that for a second. Also, because it is such a generous collision area, we don't even have to try to line up the conduit because we can move the post around inside while the conduit is in the inside of it. And yeah, we'll just keep moving it around until we get it where we want it. Now we can group select the post and with it comes the conduit. Now there's a lot of ways that you could put this in there once again. You could go all the way to the end of the uh, big part of the conduit, you know, the attaching part. Or you could pull it closer to the radiator where it's just the small part of the conduit sticking out. Or you can do it like what we're going to do and just do a little bit of that bigger part of the conduit sticking out. Yeah, that looks really nice. I like the way the wire is hidden. You can't see it. It's running through the pipe into the wooden post. And yeah, has a very nice clean look to it. All right, let's grab our concrete pillar, group select it, and get our light inserted into the oil lamp. 
Now, just like before in the first segment, if you make a mistake here and you have to regroup select it, you can. It's the same thing. The light is attached to the candle, so you can group select it and move it around without moving the oil lamp. And because of that, now we need to grab our wooden post, bring it over, and we're just going to put it really close to the uh, radiator and to the oil lamp, and now we can group select that. But first, we need to know where to go put it. So let's get our wooden post, bring it down. It's got a power conduit connected to the bottom of it. And we're going to stack it on top of that. And it should look just like the first one that we did. All right, we're going to move it around. Yeah, you can see because that power conduit is connected to the bottom of the post, no matter where you move it, that's going to go with it. You don't even have to group select it. All right, we're going to group select the uh, lamp post that we made, and we'll bring it over. And look at how generous that is. Look how that thing is just green, and it doesn't matter where you put it. Halfway, three quarters, you can just put it anywhere you want to into that other post. But the beauty of this is, is you don't actually have to line it up. The reason is, is because it is so generous, you can actually move the bottom post around just like we did with the electrical conduit and line it up wherever you want to and get it looking the best that you can and yeah that really does look nice almost like this one better than the first one uh, this would be a great path oriented one you know if you had like a little walking path I like the first one because it really matches our castle theme and you can see just how nice that looks with the light just glowing fiercely inside of it. The candles up on top. Yeah, this one really does look good. It def definitely fits the theme of our castle. Here is our second lamp post. And yeah, I think I like this one better. Even though the first one's really cool and it does match our castle build, I think if I was building something like this in a regular settlement, this would be the style I'd want to build. It looks really nice, it's super clean, and the way those posts are together, it just really gives it a nice light post look. The concrete pillar is a little bit big, I think. Uh, we needed it in the castle. But for just a regular lamp post, I think it's a little too big. Which also brings me to the point, don't forget, we have other things in our inventory. For instance, the barn and warehouse. We've got posts in those categories. Also in the ball track, there's a couple of posts in there. So try a few different things and see what you get. Alright everyone, thank you all very much for stopping in and hanging out with me today. I really do appreciate it. And just like always, but more than ever, until next time, please stay safe and peace.